All right, you guys, welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. There's the Cyclops right behind me. Alex and his team are on there right now pumping it full of water. If you guys look over here, we're only a mile and a half offshore. So for all my kayak buddies, this area is going to be money for us. I'm telling you, we're going to come out here. We're going to catch a lot of fish on this big ship. So we're going to sit here. We're going to watch this thing go down, and then we're going to go dive it. I guess I'll be on my way now. Going down. Dang, there it is. Look at it. Like the Titanic. Oh, we're gonna bob a little bit. she goes the cyclops is going down this was an awesome opportunity to come out with shark quest dive shop i appreciate those guys for calling me and let me know they had a spot available for me so we're under the surface now and look at this this is where the ankle line is still letting all the air out so the cyclops was deployed about two miles off of henderson beach in destin definitely within kayak distance this spot's going to be pretty awesome. It's 72 feet to the sand, 50 feet to, I guess, the bottom of the boat. So, as you can tell, the boat landed upside down, so the bottom is now at the top. But that's cool, because it still has some pretty good swim-throughs. It's going to have a lot of nice places for uh, fish to hide and hold. I mean, we're uh, 47 feet right there. Alex Fogg and his team are really doing a lot of good work getting these things out here. I know I've said it in my videos before, but getting these artificial reefs out are pretty awesome. It's actually one of the things that they're charged with in their objectives is to protect the natural environment through funding of artificial reefs and other programs. One, it drives in a lot of tourism for fishing and scuba diving. I know I'm going to use it for both. After the last deployment, there was a couple comments on Facebook where they were talking about that we shouldn't be spending money on artificial reefs, that we should be spending that money to fix the roads and fix the lighting and cleaning up the city. It's a different pot of money for the people that don't understand how all that works. These reef deployments are funded through the tourism tax revenue. And the interesting fact was that last year, they pulled in $36.9 million off of tourism. The more wrecks they deploy, the more fishermen show up, the more scuba divers show up, the more money they spend in the town, and that's how it all works. Not to mention the biodiversity that's going to show up on these uh, shipwrecks. And talking about the biodiversity, there have been so many studies done that show that these wrecks do increase the fish populations. I mean, if you look at some of my videos where I'm just going over the barren sand, you don't see anything. And then you see some of my videos where I'm going over these wrecks and then it's just loaded with fish. So you don't really need to study to tell you that, but the studies are out there. According to one of them, they conducted a survey for six months prior to deploying an artificial reef and then studied it for 22 months following the deployment. And within the first year, there's 30 new species of fish on it. But that's enough facts. Let's get back to the ship. So you can see we're upside down. I still have some swim throughs. Hopefully this uh, helm is gonna hold up and keep the boat propped up. 
but there's a pretty good chance that it's either going to collapse or the next big storm is going to blow this thing over on its side. Hopefully it goes on its side and doesn't collapse. Again, I'm out here diving with Shark Quest Dive Shop. They're out of Golf Breeze right across the street from the zoo. So if you guys are ever in the area and you want to go on a dive trip, look them up. I'll leave their information in the description below. I'm hoping to be a part of a lot more of these deployments out in the Gulf so I can show you guys the actual sinking and give you the grid coordinates and then go out and dive on them and show you what the structure looks like. I'm really excited to come out here in a year, see what kind of fish are holding up on this thing. Might even bring my spear with me, find me some lime fish. Cool little starfish, just hanging out. Doesn't know what the heck just happened. I tell you, when I got down here, I was a little nervous going underneath this thing. I mean, it did just like crash to the bottom. If you guys like this stuff, do me a favor and leave me a comment below and let me know your favorite wrecks to dive are. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out, it helps out the algorithm and uh, helps push these videos out to other divers and other fishermen. And if you guys leave me a comment, I make it a point to respond to every comment that I get. So if you guys have a question, or if you guys want to know something about the area, or even what I'm using to catch fish, just leave me a comment. Alright, and I'm going up. And as always, thanks for watching the Active Duty Outdoors.